Hello there. Um, it's going to be a quick little tutorial on how to pass PHP variables to JavaScript. Now, this is pretty easy to do, but um, throw it out there in case you don't know how to do it. Um, let's get rolling. So, let's first create a variable in PHP. So, we'll open up our PHP tags and we'll call this user and the username Bernie okay next we're gonna need some JavaScript so let's uh, open up our script tag close our script tag create a function welcome message open and close curly brace so um, my JavaScript variable will be user equals and to pass it the PHP variable it's as simple as this you open up your PHP block echo user close end quote and semicolon now if we alert user and let's just have this uh, run on on startup there or on page load so window add event listener load welcome message and that should be it that's as simple as that so you know this could be a variable that's you know pulled from a database whatever you may have it uh, any PHP variable it's simple as um, you know if you were to create a, a typical variable in JavaScript you might type in your name here um, however if you want to send it through a PHP variable this is one way to do that so let's go and see how this looks in our browser and if we refresh the page we get the alert Bernie and we can spice that up a little bit by saying uh, alert welcome Welcome, Bernie. So, uh, and you can change this variable to anything. J. Welcome, J. And that's it. Let's say you had a form. So let's get rid of this event listener, and we'll create a form. Uh, say you want to create a uh, a form to allow a user to change their username. So what you might see in your form would be an input type equals text name user ID user and this is how you would do this here. Value, open your PHP, echo, user, close your PHP tags, close off the input tag, or input field, and let's create a button. And we'll just call this submit.
wrong. Um, what we need to do is now change this to be user dot value. And you might notice here, um, I just have the underscore. Um, I have a function set up. Um, it's basically saying uh, document dot get element by ID. Uh, if you don't have that set up in your system, it's very easy to do. So let's I'll show you how to do that function underscore. So that's the name of the function is underscore. And you just call it X. Open curly and close curly. And you want it to return document dot get element by ID X and that's all that is all right it's it's just to save typing so I don't have to type in document dot get element by ID yada 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 a million times over so if you don't have that set up it's a great little function add that to your snippet library all right, so now that I've fixed that, uh, so user now is going to equal the value here of the input field. Uh, let's go to the browser and refresh. So now it, it says J. Let's update that to Bernie and submit. Welcome, Bernie. So on submit that could go to a PHP parser and now update your database so your user now has the username Bernie they can be called Shanene I don't know how to spell Shanene but you know welcome Shanene um, can be anything they want so uh, that's how to do it There's two different ways to pass uh, PHP variables to JavaScript pretty simple to do very useful alright I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have a wonderful day